Yeah, well, all right, so the quiz tomorrow, that's right, the, in the last class I forgot to say, um, so yesterday we made it through 12-2 and 12-3 for sure, so tomorrow's quiz will be 12-2 and 12-3, yeah. Twelve two and twelve three. Cool. Twelve four. I won't put them in the quiz yet. We almost finished it out, but I just want to go back over some of it. I laid down the groundwork of what the rules are, but we haven't done a lot of specific examples yet. Fourteen, chapter fourteen. What do you mean? So what's happening next week is, you know, tomorrow I'm going to give you the practice test. Uh, next Monday is going to include a review. Next Tuesday is the test. And then next Wednesday will be, I'm giving the test back, and it will be practice final. It will, it will do a, I'll give you a practice final before that. I'll have the answer key for the practice final. It will be all about getting ready for the final exam, which is next Thursday. All right, so next week is like, holy shit, basically. That's the only way to describe that correctly. Or some of you guys could use other words, I'm sure, but... Something along those lines. All right, how are we, how are we all doing? We, we realize what's happening? Oh, yeah, summer goes by like, you know, it's like I felt like yesterday I was doing the syllabus, and now it's like time. This week all chapter is done. Say again? This week all chapter finished. That's the hope. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Today we're going to get into chapter 13, for sure. And then tomorrow we're going to, however far we make it tomorrow, uh, and then the beginning of Monday will really tell us how far the final is going to go. Yeah, so we'll see. I might, it all depends on how things go. Yeah. Okay. So 12.2, just to remind you guys, 12.2 is where we first introduced exponential functions, right? Um, that's where we had to graph the exponential functions and so forth. 12.3 is where we did logarithmic functions. That's where I first introduced logarithmic functions. So you know I'm going to give you a bunch of stuff like what's log base 6 of 36. So what is log base 6 of 36? Two. Yeah, why is it 2? Because how many 6s does it take to make 36? I like How many 6s does it take to multiply to make 36? 2. I like it. Reminds me of the old Tootsie Roll course. How many licks does it take? Let's find out. All right. So why do you think somebody would say this? Why do you, this is the most common mistake I see on these problems. Why do you think that somebody would say this? Yeah, because they say six sixes make 36, Jeff, and that's how you were saying this. And that's why I'm careful when I say it. How many sixes do you have to multiply to make 36? Two. This would be how many sixes do you have to add to make 36? And I already have a symbol for that. That symbol is this. That means how many sixes do you have to add to make 36? I would never say it like that because we have a much more direct way to think about this now, but that's really the question behind this. How are we doing so far? So, so that can't be this. Why would we make a whole new symbol for it? And you're like, well, you've done that kind of shit before, math people. But here we didn't. This, this means something entirely different. Okay, so you know tomorrow there's going to be a few problems like this, and you know I'm going to have the reverse of that. What would that be? One half. One half. I love it. That's a beautiful like analogy. There's a little symmetry going on, right? That'll be one hand. You got to square root that bad boy to get back to six. Okay, so that's kind of stuff that's going to be on the test tomorrow. Test quiz tomorrow. Don't freak out. All right. Okay. Jeff, do we need to memorize a lot of powers to for this? Because uh, yeah, I don't normally give you, but but again, it's just like when I if I that square root of twenty four oh one that really threw people for a loop. Some of you guys had this on your test, the last or the right, was it the last test? I think yeah. Uh, you just start dividing this by stuff, right? Just break it up. Do you know what the square root of two thousand four hundred one is off the top of your head? No, that's not a square root. Some of you guys know now, and maybe you'll know forever. I don't know. Uh, but very quickly, somebody came by my office asking about this. Can I divide it by any even number? No. no. Do these add up to be a multiple of three? No. No. 
So I've eliminated two and three. And four, five doesn't go in, obviously. I've eliminated two, three, four, five, and six. So the first thing that works is seven, and it actually works. The first thing that could work is seven. Divided by seven, divided by seven, you get four sevens. There's an answer for you guys, whoever had that version of the test. All right, so, so how does that relate to the question that you really asked? Well, what if I gave you what's log base seven of 2,401? So you get, if, if I did give you this question, it's not a difficult question. It's the same kind of idea. Break 2401, and you get 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Now you've got to remember what this question is asking you. What would the answer be? 4. four. It takes 4 sevens to multiply by this. So logarithms are not the same thing as radicals, right? They're not the same thing. But do you see the connection? What was the 4, 3 to 2401? Seven. Because it takes four sevens to make it, it takes four sevens to make it. There are connections between the two, but they don't do the same thing. But they're they're related. All right. So that you could totally just take them or break it down however you can, and then you can answer the question. And in fact, the beautiful thing about that is you don't even have to think what's you just start dividing it by seven. Right? It, the, it's telling you what to try. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. 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 All right. So that's what 12.2 and 12.3 were all about. 12.4 was that uh, the properties. I don't know if they brought. I don't think they. If you need a copy of the properties. There we go. I have. I have one that's not been written all over. Anybody need a copy of the properties of logarithms? Yes? Okay. Not something you would go looking for to download illegally. Copies of properties of logarithms. But, you know, I have a copy. Um, all right, so let's kind of remember what the hell's going on with this. Properties of logs. So, for example, if I had log base 2 of, um, what you got, Jeff? Of um, 50 minus log base 2 of 25. Can I do either one of those? How many 2s do you multiply to make 50? Uh, you got me. How many twos do you want to play? You got me. So I can't do anything with this or this individually, so thank God there's a property for this subtraction of logs. How could I rewrite this? Yeah. Remember that logs are what? <coughs> powers. I love it. I desperately want you guys to be able to answer that like, bam. Logs are powers. When do you subtract powers? When you were dividing. That's how you remember the property. So I subtract powers when I was dividing. And what is 50 divided by 25? Two. And what's log base 2 of 2? 1. Cool. Why is log base 2 of 2 1? 2 to the first power is 2. I love it. So what's log base B of B? 1. 1. Kick ass. Now be careful. I, I, why would somebody say zero here, do you think? Why might somebody say zero? Because they think, oh, these cancel. But you're left with that one that's up there, the understood one. Now, all those understood things come back to kick us in the ass sometimes. you got to remember that it's understood. That's why this is not zero, it's one. All right, I like it. I like it. All right, is this coming back? Uh, so what was another property here? How would I rewrite this? Yeah, log A plus log B. Is that log base to of A? I love it. I was giving him the next question. Yeah, what's the base on that log? It's understood to be. See, there's another understood thing that will kick you in the ass if you don't remember. Why would log base 1 make, like, no sense at all? 
one. Yeah, what do you raise one to to make it? Well, shit, if you raise one to anything, it's one. So that's why you will never see log base one. So don't think if there's nothing there, it's a one. It doesn't make any sense if it's a one. We know there's a 10 there. I like it. And again, what does it say? When I multiply things with like bases, I add the powers. That's why that property makes sense. Okay, I like it. Some of you guys are like, you could say that all day, Jeff, and it won't come true. Shit. But it does. It actually does make sense. Okay. Um, I'm trying to remember what it was. Wait, what do you do from there? Log base? Or log I mean, there's nothing you do because A and B are, I don't know what they are. But that is a statement of the property, and I can go either way, whatever way helps me simplify it. Right? So, so very often we'll, what we'll have is something like uh, log base... Uh, just write something down. There you go, Jeff. There you go. So we'll have a problem like this. I'm going to use that property, but I'm going to use it in reverse, right? Because okay. what does that become? Log base 14 of 14, which is 1. Or if I had this, we had one of these on the thing the other day. There's a part of this I can do something with. Be careful now. So I can break that up. I can use it directly and say that's log base 3 of 3 plus. So this I can do something with, and this I can't do shit with. That feels a lot like simplifying a radical. So there are relationships between radicals and logs. Yes? Why are you, <clears throat> why are you adding them if it's A and B? It's multiplication, isn't it? Totally. All right. Uh, all right, you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right, let me, let me write this more linearly here, and then I'm going to try to show you some of my weirdness I showed you yesterday. What's the base here known to be? Ten. Ten. So I'm multiplying two things whose base is ten. So, for example, this means A is ten to something, and B is ten to something else. Is that is that cool? I mean, I really... This is a weird step, but if you understand this, you're that much closer to getting the whole damn thing. The base here is 10, which means these guys have a base of 10. It's just the power that I don't know because the answer to a log is the power. And I don't know what the hell that log is, shit. But what would I do with the powers? Right? So this would be 10 to the x plus y. So then this power, this if I look only at the powers, what are the powers? X plus Y. Is that, I mean, what are, what's the powers on that? What's the power on this? X plus Y. Is that cool? Because the log looks only at the power. That's X plus Y. Shoop. Now look on this side. What did I just say that uh, A was? A was like 10 to the X. And what's the power on 10 to the X? X. And what's the power on 10 to the Y? So there you go. That's all it's saying. What would you do with the powers on things that have like bases, you would add them. That's all that's saying. That's all that is saying. So a logarithm focuses on the power of something. Um, it's the power of, I'm sorry. So for example, uh, what's the power on that? Seven. All right, so what's log base A of that? Seven. Seven. It focuses on the power. So that's everything that a logarithm property says, it's talking about the powers. If the bases are the same, how do I know the bases are the same on these? Because they're both inside of a log base 10. So they're automatically base 10. They're in a log that's base 10. So they must have a base of 10. So what would I do with the powers when I multiply them? I would add the powers. Okay, cool. Please let that make sense. So I guys like, dude, I just saw a log for the first time the other day, man. All right, let it sink in. Let it sink in. Yeah, I would let that go, but just, it's sort of like, I mean, this isn't wrong, but some of you guys should be at the point where that, doesn't that, some of you guys, doesn't that kind of, somebody out there, doesn't that sort of make you, or is it just probably just me, yeah, shit. If I saw that, I would go, mm. like, I know some of you guys have circled this, that you wrote that, on. I circle it, and nobody's really asked me why, but hopefully you understand, don't write that, it's understood. It's like saying... All right, my answer was X, and you write down all the understood ones. That's not wrong, is it? But do you, 
to, now all of you should be like, uh. that's how I feel about this. Uh. So if, you, if I saw this, I feel the same way about that. And if I see this, I feel even worse about that. Ooh, that one I might have to take a point out for or something. <laughs> Because that's not using the right symbol now. At least this is the right symbol for log base 10. I just don't have to write the 10. Here, what should the symbol be? Okay. LN. And I know on one level you guys are like, come on, it's the same. Damn thing. But it's just a question of convention. We, we have to agree on what the symbols are that we're going to use so that we communicate the same way to everybody. Then we've agreed to use LN. And you are put into that contract. You will use LN also. Or suffer the wrath. All right, maybe, 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 maybe. Okay, so any, any, so that's a little quick little review. Let me, I want to do a few specific examples from what you'll see in the homework. You'll see some of the stuff we've already done in the homework, but you'll also see this. Um, That's a weird instruction, right? But you'll see exactly this in your homework. Write as a single logarithm. So what the hell? Beautiful, because do I have a property for two logs plus three logs? Is there a property for that? No, I have a property for log or something plus log or something else. So what's in the way? The two and the three. So thankfully, I have a property that tells me what can I do with this two? Bring it back up. What can I do with this three? Same damn thing. So now I have log base b of x squared. So any coefficient can immediately get out of the way. Now I've got a property for this. I've got a property for log base b of something plus log base b of something else. X squared plus Log base B of what? X. Times. Yeah. Because when do I add powers? When I was multiplying. Cool. All right, let me let that sink in. That's just using the properties we talked about here. This is So the kind of problems you'll see are just, can you use the properties that we talked about? So let me, let me give you a little motivation before we do the backwards problem. Why the hell, uh, you know, I know you guys have a much bigger question about why the hell you have to be in a math class in the first people, but specifically, why the hell would I ever need to be able to do that? Right? Um, first off, my first question, are you drunk? What had to speak? No, I'm sorry. That was me. Uh, so let me ask you this. Let me, let me give you a little, a little first. We, we had a problem just like this the other day. So if I said uh, log base 7 of x equals 2, we know how to solve that equation already. Do, do, do we, how can I solve that equation? Equals 49. Yes, because how do you rewrite this? 7, seven squared, squared equals x. So x is 49. All right, how are we doing so far? So cool. All right, so now what if it started off like this? That's no good. I can only rewrite a log into an exponential. I can't rewrite the sum of two logs. I can't do that. So thank God I have a way to do what with this? Combine, Combine them. It'll be log base 7 of? X times 3x. Good. 3x. So then? 7 squared equals 3x. So x is 49 divided by 3. So that is not answering your question about why I need to know this in my life. All right? You'll, you can't even answer a question until you learn more math. Right? You could live a life without any math. No. The more math you know, the more you would be able to do. Right? If I knew how to play guitar, I could have done other things. Or I could be getting extra money somewhere. I, well, who knows? I'm doing fine in my life as I am. 
But if I knew more stuff, like if I knew how to fix a freaking car, maybe a few times that I had broken down on the highway, I had to wait for several hours, maybe that would have went quicker for me. I didn't die, but my life would have been a little better. All right, I'm sorry. That's enough of that PSA. Um, the more you know. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so that, that's going to be that last section in Chapter 12. We're going to do stuff like this, and we already know how to do this kind of problem. Combine the logs, and then I can, bam, just rewrite the logarithm. I'm done. That kicks ass. Okay, so, so what about the other way? This is tearing apart a log. So uh, expand, I'm not sure how they're going to say it. Expand the log. What that means is break it apart into all these separate logs. Uh, so what do I mean by that? I mean like if I had this log base A of uh, 2 square root of W over, uh, uh, sure, I like it. So that's the opposite of what we just did. Break it back up. Yeah, so the one big thing you can start with is the division would be the difference between the logs of those. Right? When I divide two things, I am taking this guy's power minus this guy's power. I know some of you guys are thinking, you told me earlier semester I can't rewrite division and subtraction, and you're doing it now. Ah, no, I'm not. I am not. That would be if I had this, and I said this equals that minus this. Then I'm just converting division directly into subtraction, and that's bullshit. That never works. No good. So that's not what's happening here. This is the power on this. And the power on this, I'd have to take the difference when I divide it. It's a well-established property. Okay. The logs have different bases. You just, you yeah, good, good point. So this one, you can't really ask that because I only have one log to start with. But the other one I just did, they had both had base B. So the bases are different. It's just like the roots being different. You can't do anything with them. In fact, you can do less with them than roots. At least roots I can write as fractions and make them have a common denominator, right? Logs, I couldn't do shit. So if I had log base A of something plus log base B of something, circle that, <laughs> right? So good points. Just like having different roots. Uh, and there's a couple more things I could do here. What is that? Read that to me. Read that. What's it say? I like that. You guys are two times square root of W. So one thing I could do is the times I could break it up as what? Log base A of 2 plus log base A of, how do I write square root of W better? So whenever you have a radical sitting inside a logarithm, rewrite it as an exponential. Why? Because logs chew up powers. That's what they're built for, right? So if I rewrite things as powers, logs are much easier to work with. So the last thing I could do is what can I do with this? You can write it better, Jeff. That one half can come down. So I get log base A of 2 plus one half log base A of W minus log base A of X. Okay, and this is like undoing. Undoing. So the first thing we did is the one that happens more often in that is combining all the logs into one log. So this is like factor. And this sort of is like breaking them back up. So one would be like, what's the square root of 2 times the square root of 7? So that's putting it in a single radical, right? And the other one would be, what's the square root of 50? Breaking them up so then you can do the part you can, and the, right? So you have to be able to go both ways in case you need to. Okay, maybe. Yes, sir? Could you move the 2 in front of the log then, too? This two? Yeah. Why why was I able to put that one half there? Because that one half is a power. It's a power on the thing inside. So it can come down. This has a one power. And that wouldn't do anything if I brought it out. Cool. I like it. Yes? Is that a problem? Sir? Is that a problem? Yes, that's, that's your final answer. 
And I agree. This feels like I could understand if somebody started to undo what they just did and put it back together because that's what math really normally wants is to put stuff together and write it more compactly. But sometimes this is important to be able to do this. There are situations where you need to do this. Just like there's a situation where you need to do this. Break it back up. Okay. All right. You guys are staying awake. Good, good. All right. So I don't know if anybody's managed to get into 12.4 yet. You're all, I guess, wishful thinking, Jeff. I understand. Uh, oh, so real quick. Before we move on here, um, how could I rewrite that? Yeah, ln of 11 minus, minus. How do you remind yourself? I'm dividing, so what would I do with the powers? I would subtract, subtract the powers. What's the base on that? 10, 10. E. e. What would a base 10 look like? Log. Log. <laughs> right. Every time we talk about logarithms, uh, it's fun for a fun for a girl. Rolls downstairs. Do anybody remember Ren Stimpy? Uh, ever been loves its log? No. Okay, there. I got a few good. Ones. I'm doing a horrible job because I can't remember exactly the song, but which is really annoying when you have a song you can't really remember and it's kind of going to your head like. Okay. Uh, so what about this? What would this be? A few of you guys say the right thing. <clears throat> nope. Can't do shit. That's what it is. That is all it is. What do you do when you add things that have like bases? I don't know. What's x squared plus x cubed? Good. You can't add them, so you can't do shit with this. But what's x squared times, or uh, let me see, what's x squared divided by x cubed? Can you do something there? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So when I'm dividing, I can subtract powers. When I'm adding, I don't know shit. I don't know. There's nothing I could do. So I can't do this. What's the correct way the property is then? Well, it has to start off as a, as a, one, as a product. How can I rewrite this? When do you multiply? When you multiply, what do you do with the powers? You add them. That's the correct way to apply that. Be really careful. This is not ln times this. You can't distribute this. No, no, no. That's ln of that. So you can't distribute that. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um. For the 11 over 3, uh, I see like the L, um, 11 minus ln 3. Are we able to switch it? Like ln 3 minus ln 11? If, like if I did ln 3 minus ln 11, what would it be written as here? 3, three over 11, which is a completely different number, right? So it does matter. Order of subtraction totally matters. So yeah, you do it in the order that the division is set up in. I like it. And think about it. I really want this to make sense. Um, uh, Stay with me now. Stay with me now. So how do you do x cubed divided by x squared? So that should be x to the 3 minus 2. It should be x, x right? So now watch. If I did log base x of x cubed over x squared, and I didn't realize that I could actually simplify the inside, apply the property. What happens then? This will be log base x of x cubed. I gave it away. <laughs> I wrote it. So I was going to say, what? What is this? It's three, right? Don't, what do these two things do? Cancel because it's log base x and x to a power it cancels. So I get three minus two is one. And, and, and if I did this correctly, it should be log base x of x, which is one. So that's all this property is saying. What would you do with the powers if you knew them? You would subtract. So what would you do with these powers if you knew what they were? You would subtract them. What is ln of 11? Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I like this. All right. 
And this is where you got like, you math people and you're stupid open into questions. What is ln of 11? Not what's the value of it, because no, you can't get that. Neither can I. I'm not saying anything bad about you. We, who, who freaking knows? But what does it represent? What? Of 11. So that's another way to say it. What does that represent? What's the answer to a log always? A power. The power that what? That's needed to create an 11. That what needs to make 11? The base. So this represents the power that E needs to become 11. That's what that represents. So that is a power. That's a power that, that E needs to become 11, and that's the power that E needs to become 3. So what would I do if I divide the things? I would subtract their powers. All right, I went too far there. Trying to figure out a way to put these words together. Logs focus on the powers. That's why the properties of logs are the same as the properties of powers. So when I am dividing, I can subtract the powers. But if I was subtracting in here, ain't shit I can do. But that's an easy mistake to make, and I understand that. Yes? So, do we ever do math with E as like. We have a 3.14 estimation on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so remember, I flashed it up there. We, you, you have an E button in the calculator. 